So we've talked a lot now about the Live View Solo, how to set up your modems and the Solo Portal. Adam's actually put together another really great video talking about the UI side of things and how to register your solo and how to start streaming to the platform of your choice. Let's check out that video now and we'll be right back afterwards. Now you want to go to solo.liveview.tv. Please note that I have my unit on and connected. Uh, as I go to this portal. So I like to think of this as like a hardware dongle that gives me access to everything I need from LiveView. So here is solo.liveview.tv if you immediately just type that into a browser and here's what it looks like. If you're new to this, simply click on new user right here and simply create your account. If you're coming back, simply log in like what I have right here. So I'm just gonna click log in which now it's going to bring me to my interface. And look, you can actually see that it's picking up my camera right now and everything, so that's really cool. So if you need to add your Live View Solo, then you need to simply click Add Solo. And this is where you'd enter all of your information, click Next, and bam, you would be uh, registered to go. As you can see, I already have my Live View Solo uh, registered and everything is all set up. Once the Solo is registered, I can then add the Solo Connect service plans to support my starter kit. And you would do it in this box here. As you can see, I've already have mine hooked up. Now, don't forget that you can actually get a coupon code from your dealer to get 5% off. Okay, so where are we streaming? Click Add Destination. And you can see a bunch of different options where you can stream to. And I mean a bunch. But okay, for the case of this video, I am going to click YouTube. So here's a little tech tip. Uh, don't be afraid to stream in 720p. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, so when in doubt, that's what I recommend. Uh, if you have the bonded connections like I do, uh, with good strength and so on and so forth, or if you know your Wi-Fi is stable or you have direct connection, streaming in full 1080p will not be a problem but it's not necessary. You can stream in 720p, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, and as you can see, I am configured to YouTube. I am ready to go. I am ready to stream at this point. And all I need to do is click go live. If you wanna discontinue your subscription to the Solo Connect or to simply reactivate it, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to here, subscription info, and this is where you can set everything up and again as you can see you can cancel or change right here